Here we are, it's just after Thanksgiving weekend, and what that means in the real estate cycle is that this is the busiest time during the fall season. So fall and the spring are the two busiest times of the year. And what we've seen so far is a pretty underwhelming fall market. It's safe to say that the interest rate changes haven't made too much of a difference. But if you appreciate data, you're going to really enjoy this video because I have over five charts to share with you, which are absolutely gonna help you understand the market and how you can capitalize if you're a buyer or seller. Do subscribe, click like, drop a comment below if you learned something new in this video. And we're gonna jump into this first chart here where what we're looking at is the average price and how it's changed. So what we're looking at are the benchmark price as well as the median price. And we can see that the number has only been coming down since the springtime. And that's typically what happens. The spring sees higher prices, we know that. But if we look at the bigger picture here, we can see the average price pretty much peaked around early 2022. And more importantly, the fact that the average price really hasn't changed too much within the past five to six years. So what I'm seeing from talking to a lot of buyers in the marketplace today is they really don't perceive real estate to be as great of an investment as they once thought it was. Of course, everyone's heard that you got to buy real estate to become rich or investing into real estate is a no brainer. See, people don't really believe that anymore because first of all, you have to spend years saving money for a down payment to go ahead and purchase a property and then you're not even getting the returns. And what's worse is that if you're not making money from the appreciation, you're also not making much money from the returns on your rental properties. Looking at this chart here, many new condos lose money we can see the percentage of properties in which the properties are cash flow negative. And what that means is that the monthly rent is not covering the landlord's expenses, such as their mortgage payments, such as the maintenance fees on these condos and any other fees associated. So surprisingly, I'm not seeing too many first time buyers in the marketplace, despite some of the advantages of buying right now, where the average price is lower, you can negotiate to your liking. As for this pie chart here, we can see that 69% of listings are selling below the asking price. And that's based on MLS sales. And I want to remind you, it used to be the complete opposite in which 70 to even 80% of listings were selling over asking price. So what that means is you can buy in a far less frantic situation because when you're in a bidding war, you end up paying more and more because people generally don't like to lose when they're competing. And then what happens is buyers often feel some buyer remorse. And looking at this chart here, we're looking at the past four years, the orange line representing 2024. And this is the number of sales. So we can see how low the number of sales is compared to the previous years. But now the orange line represents the number of active listings. And we can see that the number of listings is very high at the same time the number of sales is low so what has to happen for the average price to increase is that all these listings either need to sell and then being taken off the market wouldn't surprise me because the number of cancellations or expired listings we're seeing in the marketplace is far greater than it was the past few years and what that means is sellers are listing their property and if they're not getting the price that they want or the showing activity and don't feel they can get their price then they're actually delisting their properties so it's funny because every day we look at new listings we look at new sales but now we're looking at the number of listing cancellations and these homeowners that are canceling their listings either they're choosing to lease out their property or they're taking their listing off the market and just waiting for prices to come back or and they're consulting with a real estate agent like myself who can update them as far as when the best time is to list their property and despite a lot of construction in the gta and a lot of different condo projects that are coming to the market we can see that new home sales are actually down significantly based on this orange line we're looking at the number of pre-construction condominium sales and if you were to ask me my predictions about the real estate market i would share with you that you're going to have to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to update you with my predictions in the next video. And if you are considering buying or selling, make sure to call me, call me, call me. And if you're a real estate agent looking to grow your business, make sure to reach out to me to learn more about eXp Realty. I really appreciate your support and I look forward to seeing you next time.